Let's just jump down to the vocals. So there's like for a rock record, I imagine this is kind of a good amount of vocals, typically. Let's go to Greg. I love Greg's voice, by the way. He's such a good singer. So yeah, a lot of plugins, huh? Sometimes it calls for it. Let's just do a solo and uh, let's play it. You have grown so much, and now you're breaking every time you're laughing. All right, and let's just take everything off. You have grown so much, and now you're breaking every time you're laughing. So he's got a good tone. What I'm trying to do is, you know, you heard some proximity effect in there. It needs some compression for some energy and some de-essing and a little warmth. Starting out, just using this for some warmth. Um, subtle. I think I might turn them all back on and just bypass them on and off individually. You have grown so much, and now you're breaking. So you feel it kind of, it got forward a little bit and it gave it a little bit of warmth. It's subtle, but it's nice. And all these things that I do with when I do multiple plugins like this is every little thing is doing a little thing usually. Sometimes I might be doing drastic EQ if I need to, but ultimately sometimes I just like to do things in little stages and just gradually mold it into the mix. You have grown so much and now you're breaking every time you're alive. So some nice subtle DS. All right, so some some harsh frequencies that I heard that I notched out with really tight cues or pretty tight cues. Let's see what that does. You have grown so much, and now you're breaking. Okay, so all you guys out there, like up and coming mixers, look at that plugin. Don't be afraid when you're mixing digitally to go in there and find those like fucked up frequencies that are harsh and piercing your ear, and find them and pull them the fuck out with this thing because it works really really well. And as you can hear that, some of those little nasty little sibilant things, and and I think there's one like around in the yeah, like what two twenty eight hundred whatever cycles. Like it's just you don't need that stuff because you don't want it to spike in your ear when you turn it loud. And I'm a big fond believer, especially music like this and a lot of music that I do. I want to be able to turn that stuff up really loud and not be killed when like some frequency jumps out at your ear and it's like nasty sound. And so use that guy, notch it out. So one more time. You have grown so much and now you're breaking. You have grown so much and now you're breaking. And in the mix. You have grown so much and now you're breaking. So it just kind of evens it out and makes him sound nice and warm and thick and and even. And then mastering will come in and add their EQ and it'll just bring it up to this nice place. Uh, Pi compressor, it's a really good one. You have grown so much and now you're breaking. You have grown so much and now you're breaking. And um, I don't use that one on vocals a lot, but it's pretty dope. I gotta remember to start using that again. I like that. Um, what am I doing with this guy? I'm just pulling out a little, little bottom, a little mud in the mid range. You have grown so much, and now you're breaking every time you're laughing. That's a creative decision, you know. It's like, you know, I'm not mad at that that low mid really, but in this situation, I felt like I wanted to take it down a bit, and it feels good. This is some some more notching. Um, I'm not afraid to notch multiple times if I have to, um, whatever it takes, you know what I mean? And you have grown so much and now you're breaking Every time you're laughing It's like you're shaking And like, for this track too, I didn't want it to be too pop bright. I wanted to keep it kind of dark. Dull is probably not the word, but like a warmth to it and a darkness to it because it just kind of like went with the, the vibe of the music. Let's see. Uh, what do we got next? C4. Amazing on vocals. You have grown so much and now you're breaking Every time you're laughing Check it out. You have grown so That's the money right there. The C4 is doing good work. I really like that. One more time with it. You have grown so much and now you're breaking Every time you're laughing Very good. And then what, what's 
going on here. Just took out the air. I didn't want it on this one and did another notch yet again. This one's real good because you don't really get much artifacts, if the right word, um, when you pull out stuff with this. But again, just kept pulling, just smoothing things out. You have grown so much and now you're breaking every time you're laughing. So on the every time you're laughing, you don't hear it as much, but on this part you do. So much now you're breaking. Without. So much now you're breaking. So you hear that note jump out and it just gets a little ugly right there. So I'm just trying to make it even. You could automate EQs. I do that a lot. You know what I mean? I do that probably more so in, in R&B and stuff like that. But in this, I, I, did, I did want it to have a, a certain quality that fit the genre. And I felt like, you know, it, it came out pretty good.